following. So what we'll do here is uh, before we integrate, we'll multiply everything through. So x raised to one third, then we'll end up with four minus four x plus x squared. Um, and then what's gonna happen here is we'll get four x raised to the one third minus four x raised to the four thirds plus, uh, so, four. so that's six x raised to the seven thirds. Integrate everything, so we end up with four x raised to the one third, add one to it, so then we divide through by four thirds. Yeah, minus four, so four thirds. <laughs> seven thirds, um, plus x raised to the seven thirds plus one, so there's this, this 10 thirds, yeah. So we're going to end up with 12 divided by 4, x raised to the 4 thirds. So that's just 3 minus 12 divided by 7, x raised to the 7 thirds plus um, 3. Ten thirds. So this becomes... three and then we add C all right so that's that's this is our solution but I gotta check it really quick okay so if I check it hold pull pull down the four thirds so I get 12 over 3 X raised to one third minus seven thirds. So it becomes four X raised to the four over three. And then plus, it cancels the 10, so we get three, three, just X raised to the seven thirds. And then C becomes zero. And that what happened is, and this should be four. What happened is you factor out a, uh, was it X raised to the one third, and then you're able to factor it back to what it was and that that's your proof but anyway all right that works out all right i hope this helped you out i appreciate you watching have a great day